all, all, all yeah, I smoke is weed. Feeling fly, 747 high. I'm never choking, steady smoking like that Devon guy. Or is it Wiz player? You know what it is. I just rolling up with that fire and I take it to the wind. Now I'm high as shit, high as shit, and I'm rolling slow. And I grab the Sprite, grab the Sprite, and pull up some more. Sipping Texas champagne, blowing California dro. Yes, your pie, no sicko, man, I got that Arizona flow. All the smoke is that potent weed, also burning that platinum wax. YouTube, what's good? It's your boy GZ509 coming at you with another vid. Before we get started, y'all already know the deal. Hit that like, subscribe, and that notification bell so you're notified anytime your boy Jeezy uploads some content. Shout out to my real ones. I'll pray for my fake ones. I hope everyone had a blessed day today. And as you guys can see by the title and thumbnail, your boy Jeezy finally, finally, finally got to pick up a sneaker pickup for 2020. So before we get into this unboxing and this review on the sneaker, I got a little appetizer before the main course, guys, and I already got, I already showed you guys, I already did a review on this, but as you guys can see right here, we got another pickup from Mandrel Collectibles and Toys, guys. Um, I just wanted to do um, a quick unboxing and show you what I got, so I'm trying to advertise for them as much as I can because these guys right here, they're about their Funko Pops, guys, so let's get into this. So we can get into the cake and ice cream of this video. And I just want to show you guys how they do business when it comes to their Funko Pops, guys. So you guys can see, they got that bubble bubble. And let's pull this bad boy out. I set this box over here. Let's see if you guys can see right here. All bubble wrapped up. And as you guys can see, oh, they came fancy with their box. They even got their stamp on the top right here. As you guys can see in the plastic, it's a, they have a, a pot protector right here. But it's that two pot right there. Um, excuse the glare, guys. There's that pop 158. Um, and uh, Mandrel Toys, man, they be getting down, dude. So if you guys don't know, I'll link all their information down in the... Uh, down in the description so you guys can go get, get a hold of them man and they're not very expensive guys uh for like any kind of like pre-orders or anything like this i think i ended up paying like 15 bucks you know shipped and everything for this and um what what did it release it released uh two weeks ago so that's not too bad guys you know i think i did a few other uh pre-orders with them so but yeah man they they come in, in a pop protector and everything man and it's pretty cool because now the other one that i got was a spider-man one and it didn't have this right here but it has mandrel right there embedded inside the uh the the protector the pop protector but very dope guys very dope so y'all go and check them out man i highly recommend them they do very good business but with that being said let's get into what we came for man i'm really excited about this guys um I haven't had a sneaker pickup all year so far, so this is the first one. So this is coming from uh, Champs. I'm not going to show you guys my information. Not saying that you guys want my information, but I'm not putting it out there. So let's get into this box. And there we go. This is over there. And as you guys can see by this box right here, you guys already know what this box is right here, guys. So let me read the style code. The style code is Air Max 90, white, particle gray, and bolt and black. And this is a size 12, so you know that is a personal pair. So guys, man, with this shoe right here, you know, your boy Jeezy, he really don't bring a lot of Air Maxes to the channel. Um, I haven't worn an Air Max in a long time, so I'm really stoked about this, guys. And as you guys can see, they went back with that OG box from back in the day. Um, on the side of the box, it says Nike Sports shoes are manufactured to the exact specifications of champion athletes throughout the world. So it's pretty dope, man. They went back with the OG box. And you guys can see, man, you know, this box is real, real tiny. Let's get inside it. You got your 
regular uh, tissue paper, you know. The box did come up kind of a little bit banged up, a little bit ripped right here and shit, man. So shame on chance for that. You got a, a stamp right here on the inside right here. And uh, let's get into this guy, man. I'm really excited about these guys. So pull out one shoe right here. And I'm going to show you guys how these things, they stuffed them inside this box, guys. So as you guys can see, toes a little bit banged up right there, man. Um, I've been seeing a lot of reviews on this. So, you know, let's straighten this out a little bit right here. And there we go, man. Let's get this one right here and fix it up. But man, I'm really excited, man. I haven't had an Air Max 90 in a long time. An Air Max 1, I haven't had Air Max in a long time. Um, the reason being, um, I think it was like 2013, I had a pair of uh, Air Max, I wanna say it was Air Max 90. It was like a black and white, you know, just a standard Air Max. And um, I remember them from back in the day because I used to rock with these heavy back when I was like 13 years old. 12 years old I used to rock with these man it's not it's like an everyday shoe it was just something that I used to throw on you know just to go to the store or go and chill with my homies it was nothing like to flex on or anything like that but I really like the shoe you know what I mean the sneaker in general but like I said I hadn't rocked them in a long time when it bought me a pair I think it was like 2012 2013 put put them on started walking around and it was about like an hour or so and my pinky toe was killing it was screaming and I was like man I don't remember them being so stiff like the shoe like the like the mold of the shoe and everything like the outside the outsole the midsole it was just so stiff like I, I just I, I didn't like it so I ended up you know just giving them away to my homie and, it, and that was it like I was like I ain't gonna wear another Air Max but when I seen these come out with that volt yellow and the black and all that stuff, I was like, dude, I got to grab that. I got to grab that shoe. Hopefully, you know, and then everybody was saying in the reviews that they went back to OG form and I pulled up the pictures and everything and they did their thing. They went back to OG form. I will do a detailed review on this guy. I just wanted to chop it up and let you go, guys know when the last time your boy Jeezy had an Air Max and the reason why I stopped fucking with Air Max. But... With that being said, let's get into this detailed review. Let's switch the camera around and do what we do over here. All right. Here we go. As you guys can see, both shoes got laid out right here, guys. And just having them in my hand, I'm going to tell you guys right now, these are very, 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 very plush. This is what I remember back in the early 90s on how the shoe was, man. So... Um, I'm going to show you guys this shoe right here because what they did is they came back with that um, that hand tag right there. Has that Nike Air on it and that Volt Yellow or Volt Green, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, I do wish that they came with like the thinner um, tag on this because this is definitely not going to be... I, I like to rock my tags on my sneakers, but this is definitely not going to be on there. It's too heavy. It'll be sliding back and forth and then get stuck back in here, but very dope in my opinion. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this shoe off to the side and we will review this one. Um, oh, also came with some accessories inside the bag, which you got your arch supports right here, guys. As you guys can see, arch supports. I don't know if I'm going to be needing those. Um, but anyways, let's get into this uh, detailed review. We'll start from the back of that ass. And as you guys can see, you got that black Nike Air on that booty with that Volt all around it. And it's in that rubber. You got that nylon mesh, which is really, really, really soft going around that Nike stamp and that patch. Right here, as you get down to like the bottom, the back of the heel, you got this. I would say it's sleek. It's not too soft, guys. Um, but it is what it is. It's that leather, black sleek leather right there, guys. And then you got a white um, midsole. And then you go to the bottom and you got a black and a volt uh, outsole. You guys can see it has that Nike right there. Standard, you know, for your Air Max 90s, guys, right there. With these big pods right there for traction. And let's take it to the side right here. You got that air unit. You can see all the way through it. It's all the way clear. All white inside. Surrounded with that Volt. White midsole. 
and then what I like that they came with this right here they came with that rubber Air Max stamped on that vault right there out to the side um, like I said, you got that sleek leather. It's not the best leather, but it's not that bad either. It's, it is soft, but, and then as you guys get into this right here, you got like this, um, I'm going to say it's like a felt suede. No, nah, not a suede, like a new buck. Really, really, really soft guys. Definitely. If you're going to wear these sneakers and you have bad weather around you, you definitely going to want to hit this with that, uh, water and stain repellent because this looks like this can get stained really, really bad. It's really soft right here. And this one is soft too, but it's kind of rough. It kind of has that little backward motion. I don't know if you guys can see that on that Nike swoosh. And I like how they did that. It looks like they added extra stitching around this on this one. Um, as far as the, the OG form to it. So that was another thing right here where you got the lace loops. You guys got uh, that uh, volt again with your lace holes and all that. Take it around to the toe box. You got this real, real soft. And I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to take this. Uh, they got tissue paper stuffed all inside there, guys. So let me take this out real fast. Give me a second. Without me trying to bump the camera. As you guys can see, this is really, really soft, guys. I don't know if you guys can see that, but look at that. I just push that in and it's just really, really soft around there, which is that's the way I remember it um, back in the early 90s when I had these sneakers, guys. But it's like this, like I wouldn't say it's ballistic mesh, but it's like a real soft mesh, netted mesh. And like I said, you got that felt like a uh, felt smooth um, new buck around the toe box coming up to the tongue. You got like this silk nylon. And it is really, really bright. It's it's bright and bright, and guys. So let me let me hit a light real quick so you guys can see the actual volt on the Nike right here. Move this this way if you guys can see it. That has Nike right there in volt, and then it says Air Max in black, and it's a white tag. But this tongue, I really like this tongue. It is very, very plush and soft. And then you got your flat white laces. Let me turn the lights back on inside the shoe you got that volt you guys go size tag and you got that qr code on it and this has a date of 7 17 19 to 10 uh 5 19 very dope guys and as you guys know this is the 30th anniversary for the uh, Air Max 90s, guys. So, you know, you're going to be seeing a lot of Air Maxes on this channel, guys, because I really fuck with the old school. And I'm glad they went back to the OG form. But man, y'all let me know how you think of this sneaker, guys. <clears throat> I'm definitely going to do an on foot for you guys because you guys can see how this is on foot. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. Let me move this light up. They have like these little holes down there on the bottom by the toe. I don't know what those are for, but very impressed on how they did this shoe, guys. I know <clears throat> a lot of people um, don't really. I mean, I rock with, with Air Max, but not all the time. But if they come with this OG like this, I'm going to have to rock with it. But I know some of the people that watch my channel don't really fuck with uh, Air Maxes. You know, shout out to uh, Shoes Up, Sleeves Down. He's the one that did a review on this. And when I seen uh, his review and I seen his on foot, I was like, damn, dude, I'm going to I'm gonna have to fuck with it. But uh, let's turn the camera around and uh, I'll give you my opinions and my thoughts about the sneaker. And uh, we'll go ahead and end this and I'll give you guys that on foot. All right, guys, man. Well, that was that uh, detailed review on the sneaker. And my thoughts and opinions on the sneaker is very, very, very dope. You can't beat it for the price point at $120, guys. Um, I don't know if you're able to use coupons on this or not, but this is very, very dope sneaker in my opinion. Plus, it has that bolt color on it, man. It just takes you back to the 90s, man. I don't know if you guys ever had a well, I don't know if you guys are all about the same age as me, but I used to have a pager and it had that same color like that um, on my pager and stuff. So it just it just takes me back, man, back to when I was a kid. And um, I'm glad that they went back to the OG form. I am hoping that they do uh, release other colorways. And you know, I'm talking about that infrared. I know they're, uh, I think this morning they released the, the Hyper Royal. Um, I'll eventually probably end up getting that. Um, 
and uh, shout out to Tops World. I think he was he did a video the other day and he was talking about the Bacon's. So it is the 30th anniversary this year, man. So you know, be prepared to see a lot of Air Max 90s dropping this uh, this year. And uh, your boy Jeezy will be copping a lot of Air Maxes because, like I said, when it comes to the Jordans right now, I don't really think there's anything out there besides maybe a couple of releases that your boy's excited about. So. But man, with that being said, man, shout out to you guys. Thank you guys for fucking with your boy. Much respect. Stay blessed. And on to the next. Peace. Fuck 12, fuck SWAT Buzzing all the bells out the box I just hit a lick with the box Had to put the stick in the box mm. Pour up the whole damn seal I'ma get lazy I got the mojo deals We been trapping like the 80s She said the nigga so Got the cash out Told him wipe a nigga no Say slash slash I won't never sell my soul And I can back that And I really wanna know where the stash at? Cruise the city in a bulletproof Cadillac Cause I know these niggas out there where the bag at Gotta move smarter, gotta move harder Nigga try to give me five my water I lay his ass down on my son, on my daughter I had the Draco with me, Dwayne Carter Lot of niggas out here playing, ain't ballin' I done put my whole arm in the rim, Vince Carter And I know poppy get a key for the portal Shawty barely seen the double C's, I bought her Got a bitch that's looking like a Leah, she a model I got the pink slip up my whip Compton, I'm about to get the key to the city Patty, light up the city For getting out the coupe at the lot Tony fuck 12, fuck SWAT Busting all the bells out the box I just hit a lick with the box Had to put the stick in the box mm. Pour up the whole damn seal I'ma get lazy I got the mojo deals We been trapping like the 80s She said the nigga so Got the cash out Told him wipe a nigga no Say slash slash I won't never sell my soul And I can back that And I really wanna know Where you at, where? <laughs> I've been moving them out And steal it with me, then he got the blues in the pouch Took her to the forest, put the wood in the mouth Bitch, don't wear no shoes in my house The private I'm flying in, I never wanna fly again I take my chances in traffic She sucking on dick, no hands with it I just made the rolling plane like a landing strip I'm a 2020 president candidate I done put a hundred bands on Zimmerman shit I been moving so that's why she pick a crit Shawty call me Chris Cole cause I pop my shit Got it out the mud There's nothing you can tell me Yeah, when I had a job South Street wealthy Yeah, had the coupe at the lot Tony for a 12 fuck SWAT Buzzing all the bells out the box I just hit a lick with the box Had to put the stick in the box mm. Pour up the whole damn seal I'ma get lazy I got the mojo deals We been trapping like the A she said the nigga so got the cash out. Told him wipe a nigga no. Say slash slash. I won't never sell my soul. And I can back that. And I really wanna know where you at, where? 97 even.